Hey everybody, this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. I wanted to take a look at uh, what is rapidly seeming to become a cultish type of stock. Uh, reminds me of qu quite a bit of uh, Apple, the way that people are talking about this now and the way that they're embracing Elon Musk, similar to the way they did Steve Jobs. There's no doubt the guy's a brilliant man and he's got a great concept here and uh, with the world's best car, uh, according to consumer uh, reports, there's definitely onto something here fundamentally. But Tesla has had a massive run. On April 11th, at this point, I had done a blog post suggesting they could go to $100 a share. Well, it succeeded that. It went to about uh, 114 and changed this past week. And it's pulled back a little bit here. Uh, you look today, the average daily volume right now is 16 million shares. If you go back to April uh, 11th, when I've mentioned it here, the average uh, daily volume was, was 2.7 million shares a day. And now, again, it's about 16 16 million shares a day. So the average daily volume is more than uh, expanded by five times as the uh, level of interest has gotten really high. Now, what that's done to the short position, it really, you know, the shorts haven't covered a whole lot of shares. But what they have done is we can see that the average uh, or the days to cover has come down dramatically because of that increase in volume. So we're looking at the NASDAQ.com site, NASDAQTrader.com, uh, and this is the uh, uh, short interest for uh, shares of uh, Tesla. So what we saw back in March 15th, there were 32 million shares. The average daily volume at that point was 1.6 million shares a day, which meant that if you took the 32 million share short position and you figured that it would take, if you divided the average daily volume into that, the short interest ratio or days to cover as they show here was 19. Well, the ratio, the, the short position dropped by 3%, 2%, 10%, then 16% for the most recent information. So as of May 15th, it's down to 23 million shares. And the average daily volume they're showing is 17 and a half. So it would only take 1.5 days to cover. So it's made it, in other words, a lot easier for those shorts to cover. What we don't know is, are the original shorts still holding? It doesn't seem likely. Or is there a whole new group of short sellers who are short at average higher prices, but still uh, likely feel Feeling a lot of pain. Now, if we take a look at the most recent uh, rally here, that is the one that began on, uh, on uh, right here on May 23rd, that was six days ago, we can take a look at what we were tracking in Alpha Trends all this past week. And I cover the stock every single day for subscribers because there's so much great activity in it. And we've seen a, a, you know increasing volume on the way up, followed by diminished volume uh, on the pullbacks. We're at a position here where this prior resistance now seemingly becoming support near that 10-day moving average. But I think it's still got a little bit further maybe to decline here based on a couple of things. One, as I was saying, from this most recent rally uh, that began six days ago, we can see on an intraday time frame using 10-minute uh, bars here that on the first pullback from that 115-ish high, we, we came down real hard and found support at the volume weighted average price from that low. The next day, we found support there once again. And then on Friday, we found support there in the morning. But Friday afternoon, it broke and it broke pretty hard uh, and closed below $100 a share. There's, again, a lot of people who are uh, starting to look like it's cultish about this stock. And I think that's when it gets dangerous uh, to be long. For, the, for, for uh, most of this rally, we've been above that five-day moving average. That's the orange moving average. We've only had a couple of closes below it, Friday in being one of them. Now, the volume-weighted average price here off to the side is basically price memory. It's where a lot of volume has traded and this prior resistance in here will likely become support, at least for a little while. That's down at about $93 a share. We can take it a little bit further, and, and by that I mean we can take a look at, um, well, first we have that volume weighted average price of the last six days. That's broken. And we came down pretty hard late in the day uh, after we broke support at about 102. So I would think that maybe if, if we get a rally on Monday morning up towards 102, it's likely to continue, that the stock will continue to undergo a little bit of profit taking. And what I'm 
I'm kind of looking at here is if we take a look at the volume weighted average price since their earnings report that was back here on May 9th where it gapped higher, the volume weighted average price right there just at about $90 a share. So that's the volume weighted average price since the earnings report. And then we can take a look at a, a Fibonacci off of that area. You can see that a 38.2% retracement gets us down to that 92 level. So I think 92, 90 to 92 is likely to be an area of support uh, for a couple reasons because this was a band of resistance over here it's where we have the volume weighted average price since the earnings report and it's also uh, approximately a third well it's a 38.2 percent retracement of this move and you can see there's a big area of volume in there that big volume is likely to become support now this is a stock I've been talking about quite consistently since April 20 uh, I'm sorry since April 11th and in fact I've been comparing it as if you follow me on stock twitch you'll know I've been comparing it to twi uh, uh, shares of Taser back in 2004 Taser was a great stock to trade back then I remember because I was trading it there was a short position it's, it was much higher price it was up near $20 a share they did some splits in that um, but I was trading the warrants on it because you couldn't actually short the stock as it came down anyways this past week I compared this move right in here to the move in Taser now I don't think that we're gonna see the stock collapse but be aware it's a certainly a possibility it seems as though the hype is you know how much good news can we come out is it educated money that's buying up here uh, at these uh, prices of $97 a share uh, when we were just talking about it six weeks ago when it was half this price so even a deeper pullback we would want to you know consider maybe uh, $85 a 50% retracement or we could start to look at what about the 20-day moving average which is rap rapidly rising so don't look at where the 20-day moving average is today and figure that's where it will be on Monday. On Friday, we had the 20-day moving average at $84 a share. On Thursday, it was at $82 a share. So the 20-day moving average is rising at $2 a day approximately in this level. So you have to remember again that they're moving uh, targets. So it, here's what I see happening for for te, uh, Tesla in the near term. I think that we get a little bit of a rally, hopefully, up towards about 102, and then we continue to pull back down towards 92, 90 to $92 a share based on, like I said, Fibonacci, uh, prior resistance, and this bigger band of uh, uh, volume in there. That's what I see for the next few days coming up in Tesla. It's, it's turning into a great trading stock. If you're interested in my day-to-day -day discussion about it, take a seven day free trial to Alpha Trends or take a, uh, a full year subscription. Um, either way, thanks for tuning in and valuing my opinion on this. Uh, I will talk to you again. Thanks.